The Built Environment Final Video Project, Plant and Trees, by Mark Gately, Seth Main, Dino Giancola, and David Kangarl. Every year, millions of trees are cut down by logging companies. Many of these logging companies do not replant the trees that they cut down. This depletion of our natural resources will lead us to less sequestering of CO2, which can be harmful to the environment because it is a greenhouse gas. This man and some other loggers have no regard for the value of trees and our environment. As the number of trees on Earth continues to diminish around the world, there are less to help absorb the increasing amounts of CO2 and other greenhouse gases that humans are dumping into the atmosphere. Since these gases are directly correlated with global warming, it is imperative that the trees we are cutting down are, are replaced in order to help continue help combat this growing problem. It's trucks like these and their smokestacks that are having a direct negative impact on both our forests and our atmosphere today. The effects of global warming can have a very negative impact on the earth and its environment. The rising temperatures are causing glaciers to melt, which in turn is causing sea levels to rise. These rising sea levels are very bad for our environment because it will destroy the buildings near the coast, cause increased rates of erosion, and cause flooding. In addition, the melting of ice compounds warming by lessening the amount of the sun's rays that get sent back to space. By not replacing trees or worrying about the future of our planet, global warming will continue to compound. Once it does, it will be much harder to reverse the effects and the earth will be inevitably doomed. We must replant the trees we cut down in order for the, to absorb the CO2 we emit. This will help reduce the effects of global warming. We wouldn't want tsunamis like this to ruin a city that we live in, would we? <clears throat> By continuously replanting trees after logging companies cut them down, we can slow down global warming while also allowing for more tree products to grow. These new trees will allow for us to have more wood, lumber, paper, and other tree-based products, while also performing reforestation. We have to replenish our natural resources and create a more sustainable environment for ourselves and for future generations to live in. The regrowth of forests and trees will have an extremely positive impact on our environment and also on our quality of life. Without global warming, excess CO2 and deforestation, people can look forward to a positive and sustainable future that will last for generations, all simply because of replanting trees. Everybody, including you, should replant at least one tree in their lifetime, because every little effort counts. The End I'm Seth. I'm Dave. I'm Dino. I'm Mark, and we approve this message.